Hello everyone, welcome to the channel where we don't hold back and speak our minds. Some of you may agree with what's said, while others may not, it's all just opinions. However, let's keep it respectful and avoid turning it into a confrontational discussion. After all, it's just opinions. Let's be realistic and honest here. In a no-rules fight or MMA bout between Francis Ngannou and Anthony Joshua, Joshua wouldn't stand a chance against Ngannou. I'd go as far as saying it might only take two to three minutes for Ngannou to seriously hurt Joshua, and if unchecked, it could even be fatal. Fighting with rules is entirely different from fighting without them. Boxing has strict regulations, limiting fighters to the use of fists covered with gloves for protection. On the other hand, MMA allows a broader range of striking techniques and grappling maneuvers. Francis has dominated the MMA heavyweight division and transitioned to boxing, albeit with stricter rules. While not a professional boxer, he possesses boxing skills necessary for MMA, enduring heavy punches with smaller gloves. Just look at his bone structure and chin he's built solid. Joshua needs to be in top shape and skillfully polished for a bout with Ngannou. Tyson Fury couldn't dent Ngannou, it's hard to see how Joshua could. Joshua's stiffness and fatigue issues, particularly evident in his fight against Usyk, raised doubts about his ability to handle Ngannou's power and agility. His subsequent fights against lesser opponents aimed at boosting confidence don't prove much. For Joshua to truly prove himself as a world champion, he must face the likes of Fury or Usyk again. However, before that, he needs to navigate past Ngannou, who poses a significant risk despite this likely being a lucrative exhibition fight. It's all business in the end. Matchmakers and promoters determine fights based on profit potential. Ngannou's history of facing tough opponents contrasts with Joshua's carefully selected opponents. In a genuine fight, my money would be on Ngannou without hesitation. There's a stark contrast between Ngannou's gritty career path and Joshua's more calculated one. This raises questions about the authenticity of the Ngannou-Joshua matchup. Is it a genuine contest or part of a larger, more sinister plot? Your thoughts and comments are welcome below. Thanks for tuning in.